Yeah, so hi. So for this session, uh, we're going to talk about how to be able to consolidate your purchase requisitions into um, one of you purchase orders um, based on some of setting that I'll show you. So first of all, let's just go and look at our purchase requisitions. Um, so you can see here I have uh, from PR50 to PR56, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, approved purchase requisitions, which means that they have gone through workflow and they have been approved, um, but they haven't been set to automatically create a purchase order in, in, in this case. Uh, we 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 want to uh, set up a batch job that can that can do that. Um, so let's look at um, some of the settings that are required for this to happen. So I'll go to my procurement sourcing on the setup, look for policies and purchasing policies. So this is Contoso demo setup. So we already have a procurement policy set up for USMF. Um, so for this session, it's not the intention to go through all the policy functionality here. Just note that we have created a policy for Contoso Entertainment System USA, which is our, which is our USMF company. And uh, the policy rule that we are going to focus on is the last one, this one, purchase order creation and demand consolidation rule. Um, so I'll just click on the last effective rule that is in effect right now and, and we'll see on uh, uh, some of the setting. Uh, so notice here, um, so the two tabs that we are focused on here is the manual purchase order creation tab and the demand consolidation tab. So let's just take a quick look on manual purchase order creation. So what you want to have set here, you want to have the automatic create purchase order set. So once the purchase question has been approved, it's automatically creating purchase order. But then you also want to have this toggle set to yes, the run automatic purchase order creation as a batch job. Once you have this one set to yes, it'll try to create a, it will use a batch job to um, create the purchase order, uh, purchase orders and um, you will have some consolidation poss uh, possibilities there. Uh, if you have this one set to no, it would simply create a one purchase order for every purchase requisition that's being approved. So the purchase requisition gets approved and it then automatically creates the purchase order. But if you have this one set to yes, you actually do, uh, you have some consolidation opportunities there. Um, so the next tab here under demand consolidation, you have three possibilities. And in order for the batch job to work, actually, you have to set, you have to select the do not allow demand con consolidation. Um, it's a bit counterintuitive, I know. Uh, I hope we could change some of this wording in the future. Uh, but just know for now that this is the setting that you need to have set. Um, uh, in order for the for the batch job to to run, um, right? So we have this one set to do not allow demand consolidation, and we have this one set to automatically create purchase orders and and run automatic purchase order creation in the batch job set to yes. Okay. So once we have those settings, so we need to set up our um, a batch job, so let's just collapse all again here. So I'm gonna select purchase requisitions and approve purchase requisition processing. And below here, you can see we have the generate purchase orders in a batch. So let me just put that as a favorite. So I'm just gonna select on that, select that one. Um, and as you can see here, what I have, um, the first one I see under my parameters is that I have number of purchase requisition in a single task. Um, so this is actually, so the number here you would define, the number you set here will define how many purchase requisition 
can be created per uh, purchase order, right? So in my case, I've said that uh, for every four purchase requisition to the same vendor, obviously, um, we are creating a purchase order. All right, so so, so based on that number, you you can you, you can set that there. You will probably have a higher number, but for demo purposes, you have just set that to four to to illustrate uh, what's going on. And then it's a it's a batch job processing, so you have to define also the recurrence here. Um, so let's say that I'm gonna end mine after ten attempts, right? And uh, uh, let's just say that we run this every two minutes, for example. Okay, so um, so let's set this one to okay and run that. Okay, then the patch description and we say that okay too. So now we're waiting for the batch order to uh, run. And what we're hoping to see is that um, these purchase regs are being processed, um, uh, at least some of them. So I'll just pause the video until the batch job has uh, run. Okay, so I went into my batch jobs um, that I have here in my favorite, and I'm just going to check um, whether it ran. I think it did, so I'm just going to say it's on purchase order. So you can see I have the scheduled batch job for purchase order generation running there. If I look at my batch job history, you can see now it has already ran. Uh, two times. So um, that should have picked up now the purchase requisitions. <clears throat> so if I go back to my purchase requisitions, uh, you yeah, you will now see that um, the purchase requisitions that were PR 50 to 56 was uh, prior to when we processed the batch job, they were in approved status. They have now gone to closed status. Um, and if I look over to, you can see here in the related information, you can pop that out um, and you can see a reference to the purchase order that was created. Um, it has created a new purchase order, 427. And if I click down on the next, uh, you can see because the one before that was a different purchase order. So this was a 427. Remember we had a <clears throat> set to four for for the number of purchase rec per PO. So if I click one, two, three, four, these are all 427. Then the next one, PR54, you can see it has a, a, a different purchase order number. Uh, and that encompasses the the last three purchase rate that we have, right? So it's creating um, it's it's uh, creating a new purchase order for every four purchase rate uh, based on what I uh, have uh, set out on the on the batch job there. So uh, hopefully this help uh, helps a little bit on the setup uh, since it, it can. It can be a little bit confusing, the, um, I think, some of the wording and the labeling on, on, on the policy set up there. And the next video and I will show is uh, how we do this manually, how we consolidate um, purchase regs into purchase orders, but uh, using the more manual approach and not the batch job. So uh, we'll talk about that next. Okay, thank you.